Hey guys, it's MJ, the student actuary, and I've got some good news. I have just passed the online exam, which is the general practice module exam. Um, I would have filmed myself doing the exam, but that is against the rules, and seeing that this exam is based on professionalism and honesty, um, I don't think it yeah, would be ethical if I showed you guys what all the right answers were. Um, also, because people can still write this exam up till the 11th of November. But now, what is the general practice module exam? I mean, that's the one thing in actuarial science, we have a lot of exams. Um, I mean, as you can see here, we have, you know, probability in mathematics, economics, finance, all of these exams. And then right at the bottom, you'll see that F210, that is the general pr practice module. So everybody writes one fellowship, um, two of the specialist subjects over here, um, I wrote this one just bonus on top of it and um, you know you've got all those other core exams. So in total I've written 15 and I'm waiting to see my result on the fellowship and then that would have been 16 exams in total. I know that is ridiculously a lot of exams. So in this exam what what is getting tested? Well, what you're getting tested on in this exam is just the general environment of actuarial science. So you're going to touch on finance, health, insurance, um, life and pensions. And then you also have to read and be tested on the actuarial um, professional code and also how they do their disciplinary thing. This here, this document here, the actuarial disciplinary procedure, it is 40 pages long and it is incredibly boring to read and then you go and you get um, questions on it so I think I may have yeah, lost the three questions on that because this this exam is you only get 20 minutes so I was like oh you know I'll just you know breeze through it and then I can always refer to because it's an open book test no with only 20 minutes to so mark a minute um, you don't have time to then go through that entire document I read through it, but yeah, it was it was a heavy read. The other document that you have to read is the the code of professional conduct. This one wasn't too bad, um, although you know it's no Shakespeare novel. Um, then there's also one on continuous professional development. Uh, so those documents you can get for free. But then if you want to get a nice little summary of all the stuff that you need to know, there is the the actuarial website where you can go on and you can actually you can buy a textbook that deals with um, all the stuff that you need to know uh, for this F210 exam. I think in England it's called P0 and I'm not sure what the other professions call it. Um, so yeah, you click on the general practice module and what I didn't like is that you had to buy it as a physical book, you couldn't buy it as a PDF. And also, I don't like that price. That's 1,150 Rand for a book. And I mean, I've got it here with me. I mean, I don't even think it's more than 200 pages. Um, so yeah, it is quite a quite a heavy expense. I mean, 1,000 Rand is around $60. And then that's the same amount that you had to pay in order to, to write the exam. So all in all, it was... 2,000 Rand <laughs> to write this thing and you only get one attempt and if you failed you have to pay another thousand Rand to write it again. So it is a little bit pricey, it is a little bit expensive um, but yeah that is the general practice module exam. Um, I mean yeah you can read what the the syllabus objectives are you know you need to understand such as financial service industry you need to know who the financial service board is you know the whole regulators what are their rules what's the ethical conduct that should be taken down by firms and individuals and uh, it gives you advice on how you should give advice um, how you should do reporting um, and all these relevant things so I mean overall it, it is an exam that you kind of only write Lost. So I've written all the other exams. This was the final exam. Uh, bearing in mind that I did pass the fellowship exam, there is a chance that I'll have to rewrite that again in June next year. But um, yeah, I'm feeling pretty happy because I passed. I needed 16. I got 17. So I'm feeling really good about myself. But yeah, that is the general practice module exam. Um, and yeah, I think in total that brings up all the actuarial exams to 16 in South Africa, 
depending on the country you, you're staying in or that you're registered with, there might be a few more or there might be a few less. But otherwise, they all kind of test the same, same things and I think every actuarial profession will have this type of exam that makes sure that you have read through all the boring documents um, so that you know yeah, what you can and can't do as an actuary. Anyway, thanks guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time for some more actuarial videos. Cheers.